David Carney, Director of Communications for the Wall That Heals Hospital. Before we make our announcements, I would like to recognize some organizations and people that made it possible for us to be here today. Thank you first to the U.S. Veterans Memorial <laughs> Museum and their staff for allowing us to use their remarkable and historic facilities. Who is here for the first time? Have you looked about? Have you looked about? The place is awesome. So much history here, it's incredible. When we first started this project last year, we had a very short suspense date to prepare initial funding. So our staff asked Senator Bill Hostclaw, District 2, for help, and he came through and provided initial funding. And Bill will be here today, but he's working legislature issues in Birmingham. We're partnering with the city of Huntsville on this project, and somebody's here representing the city. Beverly, thank you, Beverly. And they've worked many, many hours preparing the site. As you see, when you walk out the front door here and look up to the north, the big green area, Huntsville, Madison, Madison County, and the entire Tennessee Valley is known as one of the best communities in the nation for support to our military and all our veterans. So it's very appropriate that we partner with Huntsville. We're also partnering with the Redstone Huntsville Chapter of the Association of the United States Army. Our AUSA chapter wins awards every year for being best chapter worldwide. Thank you, AUSA. And this event is hosted very appropriately by Vietnam Veterans of America, Chapter 1067. And Rich back there told me a minute ago they now have 532 members, right? Yes, sir. That is also one of the fastest growing chapters in America and close to one of the largest now. And that's because they take care of veterans and have great leadership. And could I ask? all Vietnam and Vietnam era veterans to wave your hands and hold them up for a moment. <laughs> These are dedicated warriors, think about it for a minute, dedicated warriors who were willing to make the ultimate sacrifice for their country. And to all of you, we rightly honor you for your courage, integrity, and devotion to duty. duty. Thank you. And thank you to our presenting sponsor, Intuitive Research and Technology, represented by CEO Ray Amadovar. Hey, Ray. <laughs> Intuitive consistently wins awards for best place to work, superior support of our military, and excellence in all they do. So it's very appropriate that Intuitive be our presenting sponsor. And I'm in there so much and see so many people there that. I think Ray's going to give me an employee badge for a long <laughs> Sir, in recognition of your support, we'd like to present you our very first poster, number one. John? It's already been autographed by our court committee. Two daughters of missing in action veterans are here, Teresa Schmidt and Teresa Nethery, Netherville. Netherville, I can never get it right. <laughs> and to both of you, we're humbled by your loss and thank you for joining us. On April 27, 1979, four years after the Polish Saigon, the Vietnam Veterans Memorial Fund DVML was incorporated as a nonprofit organization to establish a memorial to veterans <coughs> of the Vietnam War. The Vietnam Veterans Memorial, known as the Wall, was dedicated on November 13, 1982. Since then, the Wall has become an icon, an icon that every veteran strives to visit. The Wall, along with the Three Soldiers Memorial and the Women's Memorial, have become icons. Of America. The Vietnam Veterans Memorial is one of the most visited memorials in our nation's capital, with more than 5.3 million visitors each year. 
However, many Americans have not been able to visit the wall. Unfortunately, visiting the wall is very difficult and very expensive for many people. That's why in 1996, the DDML built the Wall That Hills. That is a correct name, the Wall That Hills. The Wall That Hills travels to about 13, excuse me, 30 cities every year, along with a mobile education center. The Wall That Hills is huge. And think about it. The Vietnam Veterans Memorial is 492 feet. The Wall That Hills is 375 feet, three quarter size. That's larger than a football field up here in the green spot. So that's gonna be huge. 